one. I do just wanna just talk for for a minute or two. Maybe 15 minutes. Um the fact that you probably won't be seeing any Borderlands for PC on my channel at all. Until at least six months after. At least into the new year. Because um it's gonna be on Epic Games and Epic Games is not part of my computer and never will be. I am not going to some site that is obviously that obviously like I am so sad I don't get to play this. It it come it comes out it it's gonna be it's gonna be through my next fucking birthday of next year. I am more that I am okay. The problem is, is PC gamers have more right to be pissed about this than council council peasants, and I will call them that. E even though I do play both councils, I do play both councils in PC. Um, I'm gonna say that people on council are saying oh this isn't a big deal yeah it is a big deal it's a very fucking big deal and you know what trouble truck streamer squad fuckwad here you you need to shut the fuck up you probably don't play Sounds like you're admitting something. Why does a person have Pandora and Spotify? I feel like maybe I should even install Pandora and Spotify. Why are people boycotting? The screenshot gives me anxiety. This is funny because Gearbox hires anime based actors for all their games. Considering ha half of those on on phones to be to begin with to begin with and some can't be deleted yeah they probably do uh, uh, see okay look at this this one okay epic games has spyware on it like from china and yes i am going to if you if you're defending <laughs> if you're defending <laughs> the epic game store i have one say to this <laughs> you're talking bad shit for someone <laughs> with a crusading distance Oh man, I love this meme. I have it in my computer somewhere. Uh, I'll just leave this roadmap for Epic Games here. People complaining about features missing on Epic Games that Steam has built up over the years. It has been a, it has been around absurd in and out for crybaby mentality. Give Epic Games some time, and they and they are trying to enter a very hard market. I don't give a fuck if they're trying to. Uh, um, I don't give a fuck. If they're trying to... I, why are people defending Epic Games? They are just getting... Not, not only are they just getting on the scene... I don't get why people... Okay, if... If you can... If someone can explain to me... In the chat or wherever or in the comments on how and why if at all I should get Epic Games and buy and buy it from Epic Games and then later six months later go buy it on Steam. Hmm? If you can give me a detailed and good explanation for it then maybe Fucking maybe. I will. I will get. I I will consider it. But until then, I am not, and I mean it, am not buying it at all. I will boycott Epics till the day I fucking die. Okay. Epics is okay. Epix is known for the snotty little kids who play on council. Not for actual decent games. 
Okay, if they're trying to get into a market where they don't belong, then maybe, maybe they should just go back to Fortnite and go back to councils. I remember the day when, I remember the days when you could go on PC and, and the only game, and the only place to actually get PC games was Steam. Or have your own Steam key. Or have your own game key. Okay, now the problem is I'm never going to get the pre-order bonus from this. Just like I haven't gotten the last four pre-order, two, three pre-order bonuses for this goddamn game. For these god this goddamn series of games. Because it's on a pl- it's on a place where I don't like. I like how people say that, oh, you should you shouldn't fucking bitch the game's coming out. And it's like, that's not the fucking point. Okay, if if you would get how PC games work and how PC games are then then maybe just fucking maybe just fucking maybe you would um you would you would get why people like me and the rest are pissed okay maybe you would get that we have a right to be pissed. When shit that we want is being taken away... When shit you want is visibly to being taken away from you, or you have to wait for something that you've been wanting... I've been wanting a Borderlands 3 for years. Like, I, I, I don't get how people... Um, and it's like, okay, everybody on PC has a right to be pissed. It's like, you can't tell me I don't have a right to be pissed about a video, about, uh, okay, a lot of actual video game companies have their own stores. Yes. And Gearbox can make a conscious choice to lose money, to get the free, free money from it. It's like, okay, everybody hates Steam. Because Steam actually, actually has a good... Actually has a good base. And has... It has over a million games. And it's like... Oh my god, ow. How am I supposed to get a hundred and six hundred and ten power? Okay, I'm, I know it just sounds like I'm being a whiny little bitch, but it's general critiques of an awful, awful game site, or of an awful, awful, and I mean awful, gaming place, of an awful game store that no one wants to buy from, and there's good reason that no one wants to buy from it. And everybody defends it tooth and fucking nail. Like, like they're gonna get arrested by the fucking Chinese government if they don't. The Chinese government can't touch you here. 
don't worry. I would prefer that I, I, I would prefer to actually be on a site that lets me do what I want. On Epics, you I, I, I would prefer to be on a place with rules. Unlike Epics, Epic doesn't Epics doesn't have a place to report players. Epics doesn't have this place. Epics doesn't have that place. They don't have all this stuff to keep you safe like Steam does. Steam has a laundry list of things that keeps you safe. So, if you're going to say to me, Oh, give Epics a chance. <laughs> oh, I'm weird. I'm not going to follow him around. I'm going to... Anyway, I have to get down here. And then I have to go this way. Um... I... I just don't understand how... Epic Games... How Epic Games is so... How... How, how everybody hates Steam so much. If someone can give me an inkling of why they hate Steam... Then... I might... I might... I'm, if, if you can give me a list of links on why Steam is bad, then maybe I'll, I'll consider getting Epics. But I'm, I can't afford... Th there are a lot of people who can't afford to have both Epics and Steam. Not everybody's gonna want that. Okay? I know I don't. Not everybody does. And it's like, you're... you're, you're you're saying, oh, just suck it up, buttercup. And it's not a suck it up, buttercup type of moment. It's, uh, the fans are pissed, and your sales are going to tank because of it. The second it goes on Steam, oh yeah, hell yeah, everybody's going to buy it. But the problem is, is I have, cro I have cross things that I want in, in the, um, Borderlands 3. And everybody's also pissed because it's like... It's, 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 you feel like you're betrayed by the very video game company that you think, that you think would, would understand that PC, that, I, I, I'm surprised video game companies don't get by now. People don't like Epic Games. I really wish they would get that, because... The second that they get that is the second that actual the video game community gets better. They're all because when they start to drive a rift between the the actual PC players, then that's when the PC players start. Well, since PC since PC is already toxic enough, well, that's when PC will, and which, which is I think what they want. I think they want PC gaming to destroy itself, so they can only be on consoles. And yes, I am going to accuse them of that. They can try to sue me, but it's an opinion. It's an opinion and a theory. You can't sue me over a theory. Like, okay, unlike Alex Jones, who's talking about actual dead people, I'm not talking about dead people. I'm talking about people, alive people, who could make the conscious choice to put it on two platforms. Who, who, could, who, who can make the conscious choice to put their game on Steam and Epic Games. They could do that, and then there wouldn't be any hate. Hmm. Just like BioWare could actually treat their could actually treat their people with respect, and there wouldn't be any problems. Now would there? Like I'm not buying Anthem because of what they've done to their staff. Like and I'm not boycotting this game that I'm playing right now, which I know is a BioWare game, but um, which I know is a Bioware game. But I'm not going to boycott this game because this game's already out. They made some bad decisions. Especially with this game.
Like, oh god, I shouldn't be as tired as I am. Um, it's, it just hurts. It really does. It, it's, it's how the normal video gamer feels. It's how the normal PC gamer feels. When they have to go on and get up. They have to go on and get a whole new site because because Epic Games wants to be a group. Okay, what are they gonna do when Epic Games has to file for bankruptcy? Because they're just kind of giving away money. Like, what are they gonna do? Are they going to are they gonna give the excuse to everyone that um? that um they 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 put it on there thinking that it would be a good idea what are they gonna do like if someone could seriously give me an answer i would i would be grateful because if these video game companies think that i'm gonna switch over to epic games and that steam is dying steam isn't dying steam is as strong as ever the dude who owns Steam and Valve, or I don't know if he owns it, but the dude who owns Valve and Steam, and I'm going to connect those two, the dude who owns both of them is a very powerful and smart man. Gabe, um, I don't remember his last name, but Gabe knows his shit. He knows how this, how this works, and he can tell a bad company from a good company. And the only reason he hasn't probably dealt with this Epic Games crap, as is, already, is because he doesn't want the drama. And he'll he'll deal with it in probably due time. He'll pro there's probably a big lawsuit coming for Epic Games one of these days, because Steam is not known for its friendliness in the business. Like, are people pissed at Steam for some reason? What has Steam done? Vex, they're building something. Calculating probabilities. Yes, they are. Uh, uh, two. Oh, that's my friend. Um, but I feel, I feel just, it hurts. It really hurts that I have, I have to go by, I have to go by, I have to go by, I have to go get Epic Games thing if I want that. And that's the problem. Okay, if Epic Games and Steam would combine, if Epic Games and Steam would combine, I would be perfectly fine. I would be overjoyed if they did. Because that means that I don't have to choose between the two. It, it, and, and I, I'm gonna compare it to this. It, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a parent having to choose between, having to choose. Why would they leave these places if they get so angry when anyone steps on them? <sighs> That's my question. Um, is, is it's like having to choose between, it's like a parent having to choose between two kids, and choosing wrong. And I don't want to be, and I don't want to be screwed over. And I don't want to be screwed over.
Ow. I love my ghost. <laughs> um, but I feel, I really, truthfully do feel, it's a betray. It, it's like it's like a parent choose a parent choosing to go with the neighbor's kid instead of for you. How about that? A parent loving the neighbor's kid more than you because he's more successful, and the kid lets in the kid lets your parent kind of control their life. And you just want your parent. And it's like... And it's like, that's how video game co Video game companies have to get smarter. They can't just go with the newest people. That's... it. If they go with the... Okay. If they were to go with the newest and old people to see how it went, they would find out... They would find out how... How much money they would make. If they did it with both companies, they would find out how much money they would make. And they would make a ton of money. They want money. That's what they want. They gotta think where the money is. They can't just go... They can't just say, Oh, I wanna go... I wanna go this way... Because I feel like it. No. That's just... Just don't do that. You'll... I I just I just don't feel like like Epic Games is doing a smart thing by trying to cut in on Steam. Like if they if they think that they're going to kill Steam just because just because a a they take one or two or three games, yeah, they're not. Cuz not everybody's going to rush over to Epic's just because they want the game. They're, they're gonna, there are people who have, there are people like me who have all the councils. They'll buy it for the councils before they'll, they'll burn, they'll make sure you, make sure that company burns in hell before they buy it. From them. And for me, it'll be when hell freezes over. Hell will be, have to be pretty fucking chilly for me to, to buy from Epic Games like that. There ain't no way I'm buying from Epic. You, it, unless Steam fully dies in the next 10 minutes and I have to transfer all my stuff over to Epic Games or else I lose all my data on it, there is no way in the chilliest part of hell, and there ain't no chilly part of hell, in the chi chilliest part of hell that I'm, tra that I'm going over to Epic Games.
weather is beautiful around here. And even if it is a complete and utter crap hole around here, but it is pretty. It really is. I, I could I can rag on Bioware all I want, but they do make pretty games. I'm not going to buy Anthem for a while until there are like some really hard vexes. So okay, so Like, I really do, I really do love video games. And this is an all boycott on video games. I, and I'm not going to pre-order it over there. Pre-order bonuses to me are like, oh, oh, you pre-ordered the game. Yeah, I might as well just wait six months for something, a pre-order bonus that I can get with the, uh, that by then I will have, there will be a, uh, a save editor out that I could probably get the pre-order bonus with cuz fuck that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking go over to Epics just because I want a pre-order bonus. And that's that's probably the only reason people would go over there is for the pre-order bonus. And that's just bad money. That's just bad money handling. And I have a feeling there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are already speaking out against speaking out against um oh this is a heavier one ooh um I I don't get I, I've just never gotten how video game companies and this is really an a test to them treating their fans like shit. Like I feel like I'm being robbed of a game I've been wanting to play since I've started playing Borderlands 2. And it's like and you're gonna deny me that? And I, I kind of, I know it's kind of really me denying myself playing the game. Because I won't buy it on Apex. But anyway, once I get back to my orbiter, I am going to... How deep is this? Not very deep. Okay. Um, I'm going to end this, um, this video. But not until after I do this. Captain, Vex in your patrol area have upgraded their barrier technology to be impenetrable using a new, unidentified energy source. Nearby constructs should have the data we need to locate a sample of this technology. Unbreakable shield sounds... bad. Let's take them apart.
Oh, so you think you're gonna come in here and dig, do you? What will stop them, I wonder? Rather blow up equipment than let us take it. These cabal don't have a lot of faith in us, do they? I have no idea why that might be. actually going the right way. Anyway, good morrow, everyone. Er, good goodbye, Kenfolk. I will see you next time.